James and the Giant Peach, but all Grandma has is the incredible story of the Giant Pear. Okay. There's someone in there. You may think the Dark Lord of the Sith is the most evil.
take the bat, you take the buzz, you take the cap, you take the fuzz, and there you have the facts of life. What's up? So, so you're working, I had the day off, I did some thrifting, so it's not really TLC, although I did get stuff for you, so you were there in spirit. So but it was I, T4C? I guess it was kind of TC, but that's Tiger Chainsaw, and I don't want to use that because that guy seems like the kind of guy that would sue. Yeah, can I sue them? Anyway, I did find some stuff, <laughs> so I wanted to share with you what I got. Let's see it. First of all, funny enough, freaking magazines. So I'm at this super seedy flea market that you don't always like to go to because it's a little dingy sometimes. And it's called STD. All right, guys. We're here at the STD flea market. Here's hoping I find something, but don't catch anything. Tom, that literally looks like something from Breaking Bad. I probably wouldn't go in there, especially if it's called STD. STD flea market, huh? I hear everybody's itching to get the crabs there. Yeah, all the other reason to not visit it. But there were these magazines and on top there was like a Game Informer and I was like, well, I don't care about Game Informer but something told me to check it and I did. And there were a stack of freaking PSM magazines and they were all a buck each. Now, aside from Nintendo Power, PSM is like the only other magazine that I'd kind of like to collect. And apparently PSN is better than the PlayStation magazine. Well, yeah. Well, so official <laughs> PlayStation magazine came with demo discs, but PSM, I don't know. There was something about it. It was more fun, like the way they would do reviews and banter and stuff. But amidst all of it was, first of all, one of my favorite issues because uh, Maximo, and this is a prime example of how they would use comic book artists to do uh, the covers sometimes. That's pretty cool. And there was also the catalog, the Super Power catalog. So you would get these little stamps and Nintendo Powers and sometimes with uh, the games and stuff that you'd buy. And then you could buy all of this Nintendo themed stuff. Did you get anything out of here? Uh, I did, actually. I think I was able to get some of the cheaper stuff. I think there was like an audio cassette thing I got. Uh, I might have got one of the books, like the comic magazines, but I especially loved the player's guide, so I mm -hmm. think I would sometimes go for those, too. Yeah. It was on a whim that I decided to check out that stack and... So, hey guys, check out your magazines. Check it out! I did pick up something for you. <gasps> board game <laughs> minecraft card game yeah I, I like that <laughs> but is it a game i don't know is it game <laughs> is it cake <laughs> so i don't know we play minecraft a lot with this uh, is gonna be a lot of fun and i love small board game card games like this because they're really easy to throw in your book bag or your purse or your satchel or your whatever whenever you're just going somewhere and it you know it looks like a nice quick game and everything like that it seems in good condition. Yeah, I think it was like four bucks. Two to four players, so that's pretty great. Yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. Look, just me and my bird riding the rails like we do. So I picked up something for Sega Head. He loves the Diablo games. Don't tell him. He's, hey, Sega, don't watch this part. He's an avid reader and everything. And uh, Diablo book, I mean, just, just because pays to... He likes the Diablo. Pays to pay attention to books. Got something for you. Bon Jovi! Have a nice day. Oh, thanks. I actually That's went sweet. to this concert. Funny story, when I was, I have always been a Bon Jovi fan from the time I can remember. Super, super Bon Jovi. Got to see them twice in concert. And I would say probably 17 years old-ish, I decided, you know, I don't need these stupid CD cases. Oh, no. So I took all the CDs out, I took the little booklets out, and I put them in those of course, kids these days don't know what these are, but those CD sleeves, and you'd keep like big binders of the CD sleeves in your car. So I just tossed them all. So now I'm trying to recollect all of my CDs. Yeah, bon Jovi is the greatest band of all time. And I will argue to this to my dying day. I will argue with you if you say it's not the greatest band on the planet. <laughs> well, I got me some music stuff too. I got some audio cassette tapes of Ray Stevens. Uh, he's a, a comedy, gospel, country singer. I, I saw these, they were taped together for a buck and one of them is actually still factory sealed. This has nice. never been open, but I like Ray Stevens stuff. Ray so. Stevens was actually one of my very first albums I ever owned. 
Funny enough, at the same flea market, I found a couple of Ray Stevens DVDs, their animated video series. I'd never seen these before. So I was like, yeah, let's let's go with that. Why not? So kind of tied to Ray Stevens uh, somewhat. I found a VHS tape for Branson City Limits, but I got this because it's more of like a time capsule. Yeah, so we can see what Branson used the way we remember it when we were kids. Right. Oh, there it is. That's the glitchiest welcome to sign ever. They took Nick at night and made it a town. Something else that I saw just for you. I know, a little Scarlet Witch. Some little shot glasses. Although they don't call them shot glasses, do they? No, they do call they? them toothpick holders. Probably because, you know, they can't promote alcohol. Maybe, maybe. So, and I love how stylized they are. You've got Wanda here playing the harp on one of them. And on the other one, she's got a sword. It's very, like, like book cover. It looks makes me think of... I could see that. Like some kind of book cover. Like and this makes me think of Mist of Avalon. And they're frosted. Yeah, they're frosted. I love frosted glass is my all-time favorite glass of all time. I don't know if this person can have favorite glass, but I do. You taste like glass. I found something else sealed. Initially, I thought of someone else that this could go to, but you were like, I don't know. I might keep that. Yep, this is for me. Funky Brewster! <laughs> oh my god, I love Funky Brewster as a child. I even have, and then we did it in a video with Jen, actually. I had a Punky Brewster doll that I don't have anymore, and I'm super sad about that, and I want her back. I want to find her again, but I loved this show. And more than the show, I more remember a movie that I thought was Punky Brewster, but uh, turned out yeah, later you that it was not. That, that but, was funny. Yeah, so it's like, that's my memory of Punky Brewster. And I actually found a game, Thor for the DS. Thor! I have heard so many good things about this game, and I've been on the lookout for it for a long time. Anytime I have found it before, it's been a little overpriced. But I like the price on this one. It was complete, so... Yeah. problem is it's on the DS you can't play it you know why because it'll make your hands Thor <laughs> I've been with him too long and, and yeah you guys, you guys usually <sighs> look what has become of you well it wouldn't be a uh, pickup if I didn't find you well, that's all good, some more goosebumps. goosebumps now at this point I really have no idea which ones she already yeah, so has so now it's more of just get them when they're if they're cheap enough yeah. and then we compare the the covers of them and everything I do still read my goosebumps books well circling back to games something I never thought I would find especially in some flea market I found a Quistus Trepe Did you action figure you know, some it sounded, people... It sounded like you had a lisp there. Well, how would you pronounce that name? Quistus? See, some people say it's Kistus. Kistus? Or Quistus. Quistus? I think Quistus sounds more than Kistus. There's a Q-U in there. Now, the packaging was already kind of warped and tearing or anything. And I mean, I was going to open it things. anyway, but it really didn't matter in this case because of the state of the package. I actually have the Selfie and the Renoa figures. I got those long, long, long ago. But the one that I always wanted was Quistus, or Quistus, however you want to say it. Because I always liked her character the best from the game, but I never found her. Well, now I have her. I've got all three of the female leads from the game. You were kind of liking some of these, some of these other figures. Yeah. I definitely want Squall because I love his, like, revolver gun. But then just for the sake of the other revolver sword thing um is that cypher safer i think i always called him safer safer but then i just love the look of Irvin. he just looks funny he looks cocky i kind of feel bad that i don't want the other two there's only like two left that i don't want but they just don't look <laughs> cool i mean this guy looks like he's straight out of the 90s with his like skater pants and everything so the one thing i found at a yard sale was we VHS. love collecting these. Whenever we find them, we try to get them if they're reasonably priced. Yeah, that's always the problem. This is 100% my childhood. 
all of our VHS tapes were in here and we did not have any store-bought VHS tapes because that's too expensive. Oh no, we had the ones that you could record. So we would sit there and record all the movies off TV and then we would have a notebook. But for some reason, whenever we do find these, we're looking at like 10, 15 and up. Yeah. I got this at the yard sale. They had a dollar on it and then they said, everything's half price. So 50 cents. So I was like, all right, yes, yeah. please. Nice. She's friendly Lee. So the last two things were kind of fun because uh, you have a little bit of information about this and I got it just for you. Adam's Family Reunion. Yeah, who's heard of the third this Adam's the Family movie? This is the one that we all want to forget about because this was after the untimely death of Gomez Adams. The first family of fright is back. What a glorious day. And they tried to do a good job by bringing in Tim Curry and then they replaced, what's her name, with Daryl Hannah. Who are those people? And it was just the, awful. They go on vacation and yeah, it's just funny. Even Tim Curry, who I absolutely love, who I feel could do no wrong, still couldn't save this movie. Starring Daryl Hannah as Morticia. How do I look? Just to kill. Tim Curry as Gomez. <laughs> and Seinfeld's Estelle Harris. For you, funeral director Bonnie and executioner Clyde. So get into the spirit. Watch your step. We couldn't tell if it was supposed to be like a, uh, a pilot for a TV show or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. This, it's low budget enough that that's kind of what it feels like. It's a killer comedy the whole family will be dying to see. Yeah, a killer comedy that killed the series. <laughs> now, the last thing that I found was really, really cool. So I'm looking around in this booth and I see this sitting there and they had $40 on it. And I was like... I don't know if I really want to drop 40 bucks at a flea market, especially the one that I was at, especially for this thing that I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And then I saw the most magical of all signs, everything in this booth, 50% off. So would you buy that for 20? 20 bucks, a mini original Pac-Man arcade. It does not have Which the... Which we never find these with the bottom. Yeah, bottom. the battery go? cover's gone. Those, yeah, those are usually <laughs> like the first gone. things that are lost. All of the stickers and art is intact. Some is a little bit loose, but you know, we can glue that back down. Mm -hmm. But it's in pretty good shape otherwise. The only thing is, I did try to clean it up a little bit. I tossed some batteries in there and it wasn't working. Now, I don't know if our batteries are dead. Who keeps C batteries around anymore? <laughs> or if the unit itself isn't working. Uh, we may try to open it up and see if we can get Either it to way, work. it's a great tabletop piece. It's a great conversation piece. There we go. Look at all the stuff I found. I know, apparently so, you have good luck without me. Sorry you weren't there. That's all right. It was uh, a cheaper trip because I wasn't there usually. That. It's a trap. It's undoubtedly a trap. It's only half true. Because <laughs> I get invited stuff. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, at this point, please leave some comments down below. Any of the stuff. If you're familiar with Adams, Ray Stevens fan, if you like PSM, Final Fantasy VIII, if you drink shots with Wanda, or like Pac-Man, let us know. I'm gonna go drink some shots with Wanda. <laughs> You're gonna have a vision for sure. Oh, we throwing it back at you. Ah. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Like us on The Retro Refresh. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. And we buy it. <laughs> Bye. You want to stop? Because she pooped somewhere. And I can smell it, and I could see it partially hanging out of her behind. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. How old is she now? 13. Uh, old dog. Stubborn dog. Doesn't like to go outside when it's raining. Eee! Eee! <laughs>